Boredom is one of the biggest challenges of our modern lives. I mean, how often do you think to yourself, my life is boring right now, or I've got nothing to do? Well, if you get these thoughts a lot, it's a worrying sign. People who are easily bored are also more likely to develop depression, anxiety, low work performance, and poor social skills. Of course, you can imagine why being in a constant state of boredom can make you feel depressed. But did you know that there are actually two distinct personalities that are prone to boredom? The first are the impulsive thrill-seeking types. These people naturally need more stimulants to feel excited. So, while we might only require a normal roller coaster ride, they'll search for the fastest roller coaster to feel the same rush of adrenaline. Hence, the average day to them is a little bit more boring. The second type are those who are overly sensitive. These people want to do something exciting, but because they are more sensitive to pain and punishment, it's harder for them to go outside their comfort zone. This leads to a general withdrawal from the world, leaving them with nothing to do. Now, this is all sort of depressing, but boredom can be a good thing as well. Think about it this way. Over the millions of years, evolution has been incredibly efficient at stomping out unwanted traits. If you have a trait which is harmful to your chance of survival, this trait dies out over time. Now, boredom has survived all these years of evolution, so there's probably a reason for it, right? Well, it's likely that boredom motivates us to do something interesting. It makes us curious and more willing to explore new things in life. Without it, we'd be sitting around doing nothing and making no progress. So, the question is, how do we escape boredom? Well, if boredom is defined as a lack of engagement with whatever task is at hand, then the opposite would be total engagement. Just think back to times when you've experienced pure joy. Perhaps it was an intense conversation with a friend which made you lose track of time. Maybe it was a time when you lost yourself at a concert. You may have also heard of artists claiming they're in the zone when they're so focused on the task at hand that everything else is non-existent. All these experiences have one thing in common. They're so engaging that you lose yourself in it. So it's no surprise that the Greek root word of ecstasy means standing outside yourself. Psychologists have labelled this experience flow. To understand it, take a look at this graph. On the x-axis, you have how skilled you are at the particular task. On the y-axis, you have the perceived difficulty of that task. As you can see, you are most likely to achieve flow when you're doing something that's challenging but also achievable with your skill level. If it's too challenging for your skill set, you'll become anxious and won't enjoy yourself. On the other hand, if it's too easy for you, you'll find yourself bored again because you're not 100% engaged in the activity. So you need to find a balance. Now, as you can see, there are a couple of emotions in between, but the worst would be apathy. This is where we go wrong, because when we're bored, we resort to passive activities like browsing the internet to pass time. However, they don't bring us as much satisfaction because there's no skill or challenge involved. Furthermore, there's evidence to show that experiencing flow leads to better life satisfaction. In one study, researchers followed the daily lives of participants. Via electronic messaging, at random times throughout the day, they would ask them what they were doing and the perceived challenge and skill level of their task. Turns out, those who experienced more flow reported being happier, more creative, more excited, and more motivated. If anything, this teaches us that it's important to keep challenging ourselves in order to live a rich and meaningful life. Overall, if you're feeling bored, don't despair too much. Instead, view it as a sign that you need to start exploring new things. My advice would be to find a worthy project, hobby, or task and try to achieve flow in it.